I had somebody the other day, I was pumping up a paddleboard. I was about to go out into English Bay here. And some guy's like, XD Tom Selleck, yes! And I was like, oh, that's, that's fine. So hello, everyone, and welcome to Behind the Choices with Panago Pizza. We're your hosts. I'm Matt. And I'm Omar. Um, and today, we have the absolute privilege to be joined with Ben Kilashinsky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was that correct? I, I think that's good. good. <laughs> um, just a little bit about us. We are content creators based out of Toronto. I use he, they pronouns. And I use he, him pronouns. Welcome, Ben. Welcome, Intro ben. yourself. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my name is Ben Kilashinsky. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. I use he, him pronouns. And I make content mostly involved taking people on adventures, especially during the difficult time we went through. And I really appreciate you having me in Panago Pizza for doing this all for us. Ben, I have a question. Yeah. Do you want to do an interview with us? Too bad you're coming. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I've been waiting oh. to do that. <laughs> oh. I didn't, I actually didn't expect that. And that's you didn't expect so it. much. I was like, we're doing, okay. you got me. You got me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he told me he was going to do that to. before. And then I forgot he was going to do it. And it got me too. <laughs> it came to me in a dream last night. I was like, how do I intro Ben? It needs to be that. I now know how everybody feels. Wow. <laughs> take, them, take them along on this journey. So in your bio, you have it as the angsty Tom Selleck, and you don't seem like such an angsty guy. Like you seem, you're not, you're not angsty. Why? Like who called you the angsty Tom Selleck? Who I had to Google who Tom Selleck was. You, you did, because I don't know who that was. And then, um, then the, from Friends. I didn't watch Friends. Yeah, yeah, or Magnum PI. <laughs> the resemblance is there, though. I see the resemblance, but yeah. <laughs> I think the way I portray in my videos, I'm a, I'm, I'm a lot more like stoic, a lot more somber than I yeah. am. But that, that's, I think it's just because like, if I like hold up my phone, like I, I don't, um, I, 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 I can't like put on like a, a smile like that. Like I'm just, it's just mm -hmm. like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to my yeah. phone. Like I'm aware of it. And so yeah, for yeah, me yeah. to be like, like guys, I'm at, like, it's just like, <laughs> like, 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 like I, I just can't oh, do friend. it. And so I'm like, I'm going to talk to this phone like how I would talk to kind of myself right now in this moment. Mm -hmm. And so it, it usually comes across as like, like this is typically like my face when I like, walk around. Like, so like it is just like that. Like I just kind of look <laughs> like that. And um, I think it comes across as like, oh yeah, he's like just like this, but it's just, it's just weird for me to be like smiling and all that in, in that sense. But I, like, I'm, I'm generally a happy person, but somebody in the comments, <laughs> but like, I love angsty Tom Selleck. Like I, I was just like I was yeah. like oh that's so funny and so I like I, I had to put that in the comments. I love when something that some random person on the internet yeah, says about so you funny. just becomes part of your brand because it is yeah. so funny and you've never even thought about it yourself and you're like wow that is. Like, I, I couldn't I, I couldn't imagine watching a video of yours where you're like yeah what are you going to adventure <laughs> too bad are you gonna come with me it's not I know <laughs> I know I, and I, it comes out like sometimes obviously where I get like really excited. If I like see a dog or something like like that gets me really excited. <laughs> but besides that, yeah, it's it's uh it's it's pretty it's pretty level for most of the times. But yeah, I, I think I'm I I'm definitely a lot more like smiley and all that in person just because I'm like, yeah, I'm like excited to see people. But um right. when I'm by myself, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm typically how I like when I'm by myself, I'm not like just like smiling walking around, so it's just like, I'm going to talk to the phone like how I am. Yeah. Well, here's the real questions. Okay. So first of all, I think we want to know what inspired you to become a creator? Because I know you came, like, you started coming up on our For You pages during the pandemic, like pretty much the whole year. And we, I think we both, we both obsessed with your content right away because it's just such a, like a moment of peace on our, on mm -hmm. our feeds. So like what inspired you to start doing that? Uh, I, I didn't start making really any content until uh september of uh, august september of 2020 uh it was all kind of just based off of i would like everybody I, I had nothing really to do i live in a very beautiful area where i was fortunate enough where we weren't in complete stay-at-home orders and i was told by a friend that there was like this kind of um production company that wants to do a road trip video and i think it was to promote travel within our province like once things open. And so they wanted you to make a video and show you going on an adventure by yourself or with like a, a one other person. I'm like, well, I'll just do it by myself. And so I filmed it 
and I edited it on TikTok just because it was easy. And I was like, oh, and then I was just going to download it and send it to them. But I was like, oh, you know, like whatever. I have like a hundred followers or something like that. Like I'll just, I'll just post it. Like that was like my first like actual content that I made specifically for TikTok. I mean, I think for us, like watching your content from its inception, we were also, I mean, lockdown 2.0 when it started here in like September, October, no, yeah, whenever it started here. <laughs> it was, it was, a, it was a really, it was a really crappy time for everyone. And just seeing like, seeing nature, things out in nature, seeing just, it's just, it just brought so much like peace and tranquility, even just for a minute, even mm-hmm. just for 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, I want to say thank you to you for that content because it, that this kind of content has really been getting me and I'm sure so many people through probably the hardest times of our lives. Ontario winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, um, I, I got a lot of those. So I, 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 I've been getting letters from people. I obviously read comments and, yeah. and messages and things like that. And w- one of the, I need to find it. I screenshotted it, but one of the best comments I had, it was, you know, I'm, I'm going to believe that this was actually who they were, but it was, uh, they didn't have any, um, videos posted, but it was like a older lady. Like I would say probably in her seventies, it looked like from her profile picture. And she commented, um, you know, I'm unable to get out, you know, I, I, I can't do these things. I really appreciate you doing this for me because I like, I can't get out and do them. And I was just like, I, well, I'm getting, I guess I have to do this forever now. Like, like, I'm, like <laughs> this is, I'm just now doing this for you. Like, I was like, Oh, that's so nice. Like to, to hear that on that end, like, you know, even, even after this, like I'm, I'm aware that people are now able to go out and I've been talking to people like, Oh, are you going to change your content? I'm like, no, like, I'm not going to like, I like doing this. Like I, I enjoy going yeah, out yeah. in nature and like, it's not what people need necessarily anymore in that same way. But there are still people that either live in an area where I don't live. Like we're both very lucky. We live in a very progressive area, like in a very progressive country. Like I'm very fortunate enough to be like a, like a bigger tall white man i can do these things like i'm very <laughs> privileged of like being able to go out into the woods by myself i'm very aware of that yeah, yeah. and i've never wanted to be like anybody can do this anybody can totally. like go out you should go out uh, that is it's not a possibility for everybody i'm aware of right. that but if i can bring people out like that it's like the very least i can do then to make it feel like right. they are able then to have some of that in some right. sense like there's countries where people like can't do that at all. Like I, I, I'm, I'm aware of where I live. Like I live in mm-hmm. Vancouver in Canada. Like I'm, <laughs> yeah, things are, things are pretty easy for going out into the wild and like relatively safe. So I'm, uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm very fortunate and I'm, I'm glad that I can, I could do that and am still able to do that. Ben, look at the tissues. <laughs> Good. I love that. I love that you have such a purpose behind your content. I think that's something that a lot of creators don't have. They don't have like that distinct purpose of like, I'm doing this for this. And I think that's so special to have and to be able to share with the world. Which leads me to my next question. In terms of your content, what piece of content are you most proud of making? I made a video that was very, because I, I love doing the adventure ones. Um, it's very fun. It like does a lot for me. Like that, those are, all those videos that I make, like I'm a hundred percent at peace. Like they're not stressful at all. Like the, if the day goes good or bad, it's going to be part of it. Like I, mm-hmm. it, I can't, I like that. I have no control of it. Like if it starts raining in the middle of my day, it's part of the video. Like it, it has to be part of the video. But when I make a different video, like I made a video where I gave flowers to important women in my life on the first day of spring, which is like a tradition my dad has had for 40 years. He does it every spring where he gives flowers to like my sister and like his staff. And then like the places that he frequents, like restaurants that he likes. And he just drops off flowers. He like does it. He just like drops them off. It's just very important in his life. And it started when he was really young, he would go to the side of the road and uh, cut daffodils off the highway with his friends and make bouquets and drop them off in the middle of the night at all their like girlfriends houses and their like moms of the families and stuff. And so I did that this year. I, I'd done it a couple years before, but I'm like, oh, this is like a great concept for the first day of spring. And so I went out and I went to a local flower shop and I bought bouquets of flowers and gave them to like the very important women in my life. You know, you know, like some of them, obviously I can do all of them, but the ones that were like 
very close by. And so I got to surprise them like first thing in the morning with a bouquet of flowers. And then I um, got gift cards from that same florist and like hid them around my area so they could go find them and give flowers to other people on the first day of spring. And I like that video, like I loved so much because it's like in honor of my dad, it's like adding tradition. It, 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 it just like, it made me feel really good. And my, my dad watched it and he was like, oh. you know, he's like, so guy, he's like, I know I'm just being sensitive, but like, I'm crying a bit. I'm like, okay, dad, <laughs> it's fine. Like, dad. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I've been able to show you're able to do things by yourself. I, I think having that independence and like, I think, I think, um, I had a lot of issues feeling like I'm always missing out on things because I, I have a very good group of friends, but I don't have like a huge group of friends. Like, Oh, I have 50 friend groups. And like there, I, we always, I'm always busy with a different kind of friend group of like five or 10. Like I have a very kind of close group of small friends and it's kind of hard to get people together all the times, but feeling better doing things on my, like by myself and then showing that like when I'm on those, like I I'm, by myself every time. Like I'm not like, there's nobody like hiding behind the tree behind me, like waiting as I film <laughs> that. Like if I'm with somebody on a hike or if I'm with somebody for the day, like I'm not going to record. I, I don't want to, I want to spend my day with you. I want to like show you things that I like about this. Like that's who I'm going to be then talking to, like bringing that in. Like that's how I would want to like talk to a friend is while I'm doing that. Like I, I like that that is the decision that I made to kind of stay very authentic with that and show people that it's all right to like do these small things by yourself. Like it, it, it's okay. I've received a lot of comments being like, Hey, I'm, you know, I don't have like these mountains to climb, but I had my morning coffee in the park today by myself. And I love hearing that. I love hearing that people are willing to take that step out of their door, do things by themselves, like romanticize their lives a little bit. You, you know, it's coffee, it's breakfast for yourself. It's, it's going for a walk by yourself. I, I think it's very important because we're constantly stimulated, whether it's your phone and, and getting constant social media notifications, but even with people, like it, it, it all takes energy. And to be able to put some of that energy into yourself and doing these small things for yourself, I think is important. And I'm glad that I've done that to a small degree um, in kind of these grand adventures, but it, I've seen it trickle down into small ways. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm, very, I'm very proud of that. Yeah, no, I think the thing that you said about romanticizing your life, I see like, you know, every now and then I see like a video of someone like just doing like a really like everyday task, everyday thing. And they make this like really cute video out of it. And I'm like, I love this for you. You're just yeah. going to get some coffee. You're going for a walk to the park and it like looks like a beautiful day. Yeah. I think that's a, that's a really important point and something that, that you should be really proud of that you do because not everyone has access to nature. Not everyone has equal access to nature. There are urban areas where there's literally not a tree around to be found. So it's not just about like going out into nature. Like, yes, if you can go out into nature, fantastic, but it's not accessible to everyone as we've discussed. Um, but if you can find something great about your day, something chill, something that makes you happy, whether it's like the coffee or like the walk around your house, like the neighborhood, neighborhood, wherever you can go. Um, I think that's, that's just like a really, that's a really important thing that you've added into the internet for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't want to like push it. I didn't want to be like, guess what guys? Like I'm alone again. Like I was just like, like, I think it kind of went without saying, cause I, like I, like I said, I, I didn't want to film things with people like I didn't want to intrude on their day by being like hey I'm gonna film this video and you gotta like worry about this or like hey maybe do that again you know I I didn't want to do that but I I like that it was kind of unsaid and people found that out of it and then I was like oh I guess that is a nice thing like that is like a a thing that I am doing kind of unintentionally like consistently I think it's actually also really incredible to see in like on the internet because it's so rare to see men mm-hmm. being vulnerable and showing emotion and being like sensitive and, and also like just being human. And you're like, I feel like for me, in my opinion, you're setting like a really strong precedent for like men to just express themselves in such a beautiful way. So again, thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, but you two are doing a far better job at it. You, you have a, no, but I mean, okay. So I, I, when, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to like, I don't know, breaking down gender binary, like I'm non-binary and I like, I, it's, 
it's easy for me to connect with other gender non-conforming people in that way. But when you have someone like you who is, uh, you know, as, as you said, like, you know, you're, you're a white man, you're like, doing your thing. And it's like, you don't see that that often on mm. the internet. And I think like, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a really strong breath of fresh air because you see like, uh, for, I guess for us on our for you pages, there are so many queer people all over and, um, I don't, I don't really see many people like you and I think you're great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I, I think you guys, I, I appreciate that. And I, I, I like seeing some messages I get from like younger men, like, or, or I get like uh, mentioned in comments of them, like sewing or like talking about flower, like, do, mm. like doing those types of things, like being more like sensitive, like showing them going off on like a little like date for themselves. Like I, 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 mm. I know what you mean. And it, it's, it's cool to see a younger generation, like being more expressive in that way, which I think is a very good sign. So then what is like your process of like creating content like from behind this, from the behind the scenes perspective, you're out with your phone, you're not smiling. What is the process like? Do you like go and just like let the day take you where it's going to take you? Or do you kind of like have planned what you want the content to look like before you start off? A lot of it's like, what, what do I like want for the day? Like if I'm like, I, I just think about that. I'm like, okay, well, like, do I, have I been missing like the ocean? Like it, it is very like mm. for me, like when I'm doing yeah. those adventures, like it's like a hundred percent what I need and not necessarily like what's going to be good. Like, Oh, I haven't done this in a while. It's like, and which kind of like goes hand in hand. But um, like, there's times where I'm like, I really want to have a very hard day hiking a mountain or like, I re- like, it's a beautiful day. I'm going to go out paddle boarding or I'm going to go to the ocean or I'm going to find a waterfall. And then I'll just Google like waterfalls in Vancouver. And then like, four pop up. I'm like, that one looks cool. And I go there <sighs> and I'm, I know, I know it's pretty insane. <laughs> um, and then I use a lot of, uh, very somber audios just because like, that is kind of how my days go. Like they're very like calm. They're very, mm-hmm. like, I'm not like running up the mountains. I'm not doing this like for fitness. I'm it's, it's just like very me. And then I try to when I film things like say I, cause it's a, like a minute video, I maybe film 15 minutes of that just cause like, I know what's like important. Like people forget, like if I'm going on a hike, it's like a six hour day. Like most right, of it's yeah. just me walking, like just hiking. And it, I, I'm not filming that. Like I'm not just trying to fill things with content. If something happens, if I find a good view, I usually get pieces of those, but I'm trying to remember that day, how I want to remember it. Like I, like I, I like being able to go back and be like, I, I curated this like feeling, like that's what I'm trying to do more than anything for myself is like, what did I feel for that day? I want to be able to like bring that back because like having those pictures in that video is great, but like with the audio and with like the clips and exactly what I have like processed out of it is it like brings it back instantly as a memory. So that that's the most important thing. And then I like, knowing when people have watched a video and they like get it, you can like see it in the comments. I'm like that person got like, thank you. Like it's like a confirmation that I like, I did it right to a consumer, yeah. which is always so hard. Right. Uh, but, like I'm sure you understand. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like a diary entry. Yeah. Like exactly. sharing with other people and like, well, I think the most beautiful thing is like when you, when you share this feeling more than, more than anything, you're sharing like a feeling and it's amazing to have, people connect with that feeling in in this beautiful way so i think that's that, that's the best that's the best yeah. feeling out of it oh, it's like a scrapbook of your life like just going down your feed and going to like a spot like that or like a video that you're really proud of and then you looked at it and you're like oh that's such a that was such a cute day that i had like two weeks ago mm-hmm. like at this waterfall I, one of my favorite one of yours was when you went to like this it was a glacier i think it was a glacier you were in like an ice cavern yes it was yeah. stunning. And the, I, that I video came out off my feet and I was like, wow, I really want to be there right now. What's something you know now that you would tell yourself at the beginning of this whole journey that you started with creating content? You're, you're on the path of feeling the most fulfilled you ever have in your life and have the most insecurities you've ever had in your life. Like, it's very strange because I, I didn't have social media. I got Instagram 
like three or four years ago, maybe like I, I was up, uh, I, I've, I went to school for mineral exploration. And so I was up in like a, a camp where, you know, in the middle of nowhere, like the middle of nowhere, like we had like a bear fence around us. We were sleeping on plywood. Like it was like the middle of nowhere. And, you know, we had uh, like satellite internet so we could get some very bad Wi-Fi. And I'm like, well, I want to see what my friends are doing. So I downloaded Instagram. And so I just had it for that. And so I've, I never really had an online presence at all. Like I, I, you know, made some stuff with friends, like content wise. I really like it. I like, I, I love making videos like in school and everything like that. And then making physical objects. Like I'm, I, I love making things in, in all senses. Um, but when I started doing this and like to be perceived by so many people is like, is a lot, is like a lot. Um, I, I didn't know how much that would like affect me, how much, when you post a video and it like starts off for the first little while not doing well and that you're like, you, you feel like embarrassed that you're so affected by watching the view count. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, why should I care? And it, it, it's like a strange game you play and then it does well. And you're like, Oh yeah. Okay. It, like, that did well. And then you're like, oh, that's like, it's so embarrassing on my end to like be so worried about that. But then it it just keeps happening because you know it, it social media is a is a is a strange is a strange beast it's, and um, <laughs> and it, I, yeah I think going off of that like no one prepares you for this there's no like school there's no course you can take on like mm-hmm. mental health on social media like mm-hmm. you are putting yourself out there for millions of people to see and then it's like oh oh wait this is weird literally a million people's eyeballs are on you like that's not what humans are meant (laughs) to deal with on a daily basis so like as a creator it's where do you turn also like like what is your like if you're feeling like those feelings like uh like stressing yourself about view count or like just stress about content in general what do you what do you do i i talk about it i'll I'll talk about it with friends i Mm -hmm. outwardly express like what I'm feeling. And I think that helps because I, I let things get away from me in my brain, obviously. And you, you let things pile up, but if you're able to just be like, Hey, I had this video that I thought was really good. It's not doing well right now. And like you start saying that you're like, oh, this is, what am I doing? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then your friends are like, Hey, like you understand, like it, it just shows how much you care. Cause that's the thing is like, I'm, I really care. And you're like, right. you know, why don't people like me? And they're like, what are you doing, Ben? Like, there's, there's nothing to do about you. And you're like, yeah, you're right. I know. Talking about it, it helps a lot. And then For sure. getting better of just like, hey, I can't help this. I, I, you have to, and like, you have to like understand that like, you know, we've all seen people that have a video that you like, you scroll by, you're like, how does it have 4 million likes? You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. you go to their profile and they have like 3,000 followers. And you're like, to have that, a video like that to be like, oh yeah, usually I get like a ten views per video, and then like TikTok has the ability to be like, have fun with forty million likes, mm-hmm. and it's now going to get like <laughs> posted on the news, and now you're like yeah. answering questions, and weren't expecting it at all, and then like some guys like, hey, are you that person from this video? And you're like, I just work here, like I don't. What do you want me to do? <laughs> That's a really yeah. yeah. What is something that you wish your fans knew about you? There's like a lot of mundane parts to those like very exciting videos and like I get rained on a lot and I get like really cold and I'm like there it's, it's beautiful obviously, but I've decided to not show those mundane parts. Cause like, I don't remember those parts. Like I've decided to not let that like negative part be like, Oh yeah, but it was like raining today. And I'm like, I don't care. Like I got to, I got to spend a beautiful day in this rainforest, which I like where I live. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I've, collected those clips and people I think are like oh it's not always good it's not always this like oh it's raining I'm like yeah but that's just like a beautiful part of that day there are like those bad parts and I want people to know that yeah I like I fall a bunch and I I get lost in the woods sometimes and I you know get a lot of mosquito bites and but it's just it's not important to me as like the actual day itself and I I that and maybe I've seen people like notice me when I'm out. Like, obviously I'm in Vancouver. I'm, I'm out about a, a bunch. I bike around and like, obviously being respectful is, is a, a big thing, but like, yeah, you can come say hi. Like 
I've, I've <laughs> seen people like, you know, they, they, you like, they, it's kind of like that point in whisper and like, like, you just say hi. Like, I'm still just a person. Yeah, you know what I mean? We've had <laughs> the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I know it's like not a lot. Like, I don't want to feel like it, it's braggadocious, but like, you hear like, if I'm in a store or something like that, and they're like, I think that's that guy that takes people on adventures. Like, <laughs> like you're like, I, I heard you. Like, I heard you. You can come see, like, and if you don't want to, it's fine, but like, you, right. it, I, it's. You're just, I'm, you're I'm just very, a human being. <laughs> I'm just, a, yeah, I'm just a random, yeah, I'm just a human. And it's like, <laughs> I'm also very happy that I've like created a brand where it's like outdoor nature stuff. Like, I'm not just like mm-hmm. doing shots all the time and people are like, get the guy a shot. Like, I, I just don't think I'd be able to do that. Like, I'm, I'm very fortunate that they're like, that's that calm guy that likes going in the woods. And they're just like, I like yeah. your content. And then I'm like, thanks. And then that's it usually. Yeah, I love that. I actually feel like, I feel like, um, there are so many creators who do like skits and acting and they're incredible at that. Yeah. I love, and I think it's something that like I love about your content is that like we get to experience and people get to experience us and our, our personalities and who we are and what we enjoy. Um, and when they see us out in person, they can talk to us about this experience that we had or this like thing that we did. Or Also, we're literally the same as we are like online. Yeah, as in person, yeah. like there's no skit in between it. We're li- we're as weird as we are <laughs> online. Very quirky, and that's yeah. we, like whenever anyone comes up to us and says, like this is who we are. Like we're just like chill people. Like come up to us, say hi. Yeah. Like let's hug now that we're vaccinated. Yeah, it's kind of safe too. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's a weird world with uh, dealing also, with you. That. I think sorry. I think <laughs> I think something that people, your fans don't know is like you you get in, like you jump into like the freezing cold water like that, that yeah. water's not like like warm at any point. Absolutely not. <laughs> like what are you doing? <laughs> it's not that bad. I know it's never gonna. I'm never gonna convince anybody. I'm never gonna convince. Anybody. <laughs> Maybe on a forty degree day. Yeah. But, like whenever you were doing it in like spring, like early. You're, you're the, the I think thing actually is, you went into didn't you go into like the um, into the water in like January or some at some point or February or something. What what's nice is like the water kind of stays at like a consistent temperature more or less. Like the ocean's always like the okay. consistent temperature more or less. Um, and then like most rivers here are glacial rivers, so they're always yeah. going to be really really cold. It's just like the warm of the outside. But I think I, I I just want to experience it like for what it is as much as I can. And I think what other people like I'm very rational with my I'm very careful I I I make sure I tell people where I'm going I don't make dumb decisions like I know it's hard to judge where you're like oh you're by yourself or you're not wearing a sweater I'm like I'm over prepared for most of my adventures like I've like told people where I'm going I am like okay I'll call my dad a lot of the times because he's he would kind of know what to do in a lot of these situations I'm like okay I'm doing this like really big hike Um, I'm starting now this is my like time I would like to be back. But if you don't hear from me at this point, like that's my out time for sure. Like if I, you haven't heard from me, like I, there's no reason why I shouldn't be back. And that way they get still a couple hours of light to deal with something if they need to. Like I'm, it's not as spontaneous. I think as a lot of people think like it, there is like thought behind it. Obviously if it's like, there's parks nearby that are really close. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, right. I, I still tell people more like, oh, what are you doing? Today? I'm like, oh, I'm going to go here. But if it's any mountain, if it's any like kayaking thing, if it's out in the water, I, I'm, I'm prepared. And I, I want people to know that too. Like, it, like to be prepared in the nature, like you don't know what's going to happen. It, things can go yeah. bad so quickly and you really have to respect nature because it doesn't care about you. It, it it's yeah. going to do what it is going to do. It's going to try to, you know, do anything it needs to. Yeah. I mean, I think that's an excellent thing to tell people because from, from an outside outsider's perspective, you, you just see it and you're like, Oh, you just drove to a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you're up there. Yeah. Thank you so much for being <laughs> so open and giving us so much of your love and energy and it was truly beautiful to speak to you and thank you everyone for tuning in to this very special (laughs) episode of behind the choices with panago pizza (laughs) (laughs) they better use that (laughs) we'll see okay well I'm, i'm completely honored to be the first guest and you two are absolutely amazing interviewers and i'm uh thank you so much for 
for, for listening to me ramble on. Um, oh, where can people find you on the internet? Ben Kelashinsky on everything. K-I-E-L-E-S-I-N-S-K-I. Yeah, Instagram, TikTok, hopefully YouTube soon. We'll see. Just another BBC thing. Also. And the, the BBC, BBC. BBC. Yeah, go Soon check to out the National BBC. National Geographic. Yeah. Oh, that'd be the... That'd be oh, the National Geographic, one. that Ooh, is like... I can see it. I want to I I so do like a thing where I'm like dressed in... Uh, uh, I want to do like an outdoor shoot where with National Geographic and then I want to find like a clothing or like a, a, a brand that would like make me like in nature stuff like a seaweed suit and then like oh God, you yes. know what i mean things like that like a moss like a, a moss sweater i want to do that and then, oh like, the, i want to do that type of photo shoot i feel like also a discovery and then tiktok collab would be good because discovery their tiktok is like so funny have you seen it i don't think discovery so on t- just like just i think it's discovery channel discovery go on just just discovery okay. at discovery it is so funny they take like nature and they make jokes about it it's, Ooh. Like, it's Prime. Yeah, <laughs> for like a brand. I'm in. So I feel like that's a good, that's a good brand deal. I love like a, a brand TikTok that doesn't take themselves oh, so seriously. So funny, like Ryanair. Well, and I, and yeah, like in, in the in Europe. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, the so it's the best. It's the best. Ryanair. I'm so used to flying Ryanair through Europe. I, when I lived in Berlin, I would take Ryanair flights for like thirty dollars. They're so budget. They're so budget. Yeah. But the way that they have branded themselves on TikTok is. They know their budget. They self-aware. Are, yeah. They're self-aware. Self-aware yeah, brands. We love yeah. self-aware queen. Yeah. Okay, um, well, thank you so much. Thank you everyone for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, <laughs> that was disgusting. I never want to say that again. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like, like, comment, comment and subscribe. subscribe. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting out of here now. <laughs>